Mackenzie has requested Ercole Vicente from Luta. So had to put a villain in, there you go. So what you wanna do is you wanna start upper right corner. We are going to do an oval, but you want the oval to be um, kind of tilted. You see how it's like a little off? And now if you look at its face, it doesn't, you know, that's not exactly like it. It has a chin to it. So we're gonna go and come off of that circle and we're gonna give it a chin. Now, it's not a very strong chin. And now we're gonna do the, we're gonna take a piece off the side here. I realize that you're gonna make that a little thinner here. And coming off of it, it has its neck. So its chin is not very prominent. So now you can erase this part right here. Ercole de John, de, de Conti. I don't know, I probably said it right the first time. All right, so we're gonna give it, it has this big ear coming off the side here. I know it looks really low, but I think that's what it looked like in the picture. And so you can erase it to make it look like right here. So it looks like it's part of the ear. Okay, and we're gonna make its kind of hair come in just a little bit, okay? So it's looking, its eyeballs are looking this way, but its head is this way. So we're gonna come up here, make the head, and then you come here, this is gonna be the line where its eyes are. And on that line, oh, it's got this ginormous nose. So we're gonna have this nose that's just gonna be coming right with that. X marks the spot is, it's got a fantastic nose. Okay. Look at that nose, that's fantastic. And then he's got right between that line, this is gonna be where it's um, lash line is. So we're just gonna do an oval right there and then do thicker line there. And then he, this eyebrow's a little up, so it's, we're gonna, uh, do we want to put it on that line? Maybe make it a little above the line. And it comes all the way to the side and then bring it down. All right, so for his eye bald, put it like this. It's like half, like, because you know he thinks he's all that. He's all that and a bag of chips. That's what he thinks. We know different. So we're gonna make this a little thicker for his lash line. And then now we'll do the eye, and then put a shiny in there, and then a little pupil, okay? Look at that. Well, the pupil cut, we lost the shiny a little bit. Hold on, let's try to get that back. Come on, shiny. Okay, all right, for his eyebrows, this one is going to go really close to its eye. And have it come up, down, and then and I can bring it over. Fantastic eyebrow. And this one is up. So he's like, hmm, looking up. You can go right on that, the center line. And we're just gonna go over it just a little bit. So it looks like the eyebrow's going over. Does that make sense? Now you can, we can erase the center line. All right, it's coming along and it has like a, nostril there and so let's kind of tweak its head so we're going to give it so it's still rounded but we're going to give it a slight emphasis over the brow and then this is going to come in like that and maybe we'll give a slight cheek here not much just slight coming in and now for the hair it's gonna go right across the top here. We're gonna cut that part off, cause make it straight. So we're gonna cut off the top there. And it's coming his hairline, and then his hair is gonna go straight up. So we have one lump, then he's got like another lump. He's got several lumps coming up here. So just do some like scalloped edges. This one's a little bigger lump, and it's gonna start coming in. So right here, we want to come in. We want it to come in a little bit. I didn't make it come in enough. So right there, we're gonna make this 
we're gonna connect this because I think I, I want this lump a little bit bigger here. Little lump, and this lump's gonna then come out. There we go, and now we can put some lines in there. And put some lines here. Looking good. What do we know about him? So, he's 16 year old bully. Bully, little stinker cheese. Um, on a small Italian town. Okay, so for his mouth, <laughs> his mouth is fantastic. Um, so it kind of looks like an, kind of like an M. Mm -hmm. Did I make it too high? Uh, I think I made it a little too high. You want some space in there, because he's got this like, cheesy kind of mustache coming in like you know little boys they start getting facial hair it's like look i've got some hair you're like oh please don't okay and then we're gonna make his bottom lip a little pouty so it's gonna be sticking out a little bit okay Yeah, I'm satisfied. And it just has these little, you can just color pencil these in uh, when you do it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Sad little mustache. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, coming off there, he is wearing, so he looks all hotty toddy, a, his sweater is gonna come off there. And then he has his shirt right here and he's got the other sweater coming off and let's not forget the knot here um, he's a repeated champion in town of the cup race and he rides a Vespa and he thinks everybody loves him but nobody loves him <laughs> he's all into himself okay this is like his sweater I love saying sweater weather Okay, there we go. And so for his arms, we're gonna do, coming right out of here, one oval, so this is like one part of the arm. We're gonna make another oval right here. And this is kind of where his hand is. So same thing right here, we're gonna do one oval, another oval, but this one oval is going underneath and you can kind of, that's the underneath part and then his hand in there. Okay, so you can erase inside the oval and then we're going to turn it into him so we're going to put a little outfit on him so you want to go over it a little bit to make it look like he's wearing a shirt you want to be wearing a shirt and this is going to be his elbow it's going to come underneath here okay let's do this side well, i guess we can do his arm coming out. So you're going to come through, jump over that arm, and then we're going to do his, he has really big hands. Okay, go over here. Like really, I'm not kidding. I mean, it fits him, looks good, but now you can erase in there. But I didn't realize how big his hands were until I had to draw it. Okay, so now let's do this part. Um, this one's just going to go barely underneath here. This is his skinny. He's got skinny little arms. So I'll make him a little skinnier. And come up. And we're going to make his arm. There, his finger, see how it's going underneath? So you could end up erasing in here because he's crossing his arms. You see how that's working? And he has his little fingers. So it's extension. Little finger in there. Okay. Now for his shirt, we want his shirt to go over his arms. So we're gonna end up erasing in here, but we saw where his arm needs to go. And his, he's facing kind of this way, so his whole body image is just gonna be coming off like this. And he tucks in his clothes. Here's his pants, waistband. And then line here and this will be his center of his pants and then you can finish off his sweater that's going behind here okay 
So let's, and then the background, um, you can do your own background. I kind of made it look like a, the island look. Okay, so take your Sharpie, let's go around, and then I'm gonna go around with my big one, so. Let's do it. Now I'm gonna go around with my fine point. going to erase okay, as you can see I didn't sharpie the background because I wanted to give it like this is the focus but if you want you can just do I just made kind of like a bush range and then I did a hit oh it's kind of like a that's a bush range then we have one hill then we have another hill and this hill is gonna go up follow it over and bring it down another hill and this is kind of like the coastal line. Go across. And if you want, you could put in some puffy clouds. All right, but that's just gonna be a simple color pencil. All right, let's start with this cool eyes. So we're gonna color the whole thing in yellow. You're like, what? These yellow eyes? Well, we're gonna come in here with a brown and kind of go a little bit around the outside, make it look real. Um, let's see. His two sidekicks are Cicio and Gudo. So every bad guy, every villain has to have sidekicks. So those are his sidekicks. And his hair is all brown, and we're going to actually put some black in there too. But we'll start with brown. What? I didn't start with skin color. I know, shocking. And I made a mistake. I kind of went over to see with the Sharpie right there. But you know what? Life goes on. I had a... Sometimes it's hard when Sharpies don't erase. That's it. Once Sharpies are... That's why you do everything in pencil first. Because Sharpies just don't go away. And see how this looks different than that? Because I'm going to put lots of layers on. So this is just our first layer. Definitely looks different. So to make it more of a layer, um, let's add, I think I added some red and yellow in there. So I'm gonna go over this whole thing and try to go a different direction with a light thing of red. And I'm gonna put some yellow and black in there. You're like, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, layers are good. They can get lots of colors in there. I think I even definitely pressed harder on the brown, but we can come back in with that. And we'll get some on the brows. Because this does not look like that, but we're working on it. So I'm gonna take my yellow. Now I'm gonna go over the hair in yellow. It's warming up. But we're definitely gonna have to go over more brown and some black in there. So then I'm gonna come in here with my brown again and I'm gonna go over it one more time, make it a little richer in color. It's, it's getting there, it's a getting there. Still doesn't look exactly like it, but we're working on it. Um, okay, he is narcissistic, which if you don't know what that word is, it means it's all about him. All he thinks about is himself. It's all about him. And he brags about himself all the time. That's part of being narcissistic. You're just like, I'm the coolest, I'm the best, you are nothing. So usually when people are like that, they kind of rip on other people, which isn't good. So you can keep doing more layers and let's see what happens if we add black. Let's add some black to it because it looks like it needs a little more love loves. So of course, wherever my lines are, and on the base of the root, I'm getting black in there. It's coming along, it's getting there, it's a process. And 
then I'm probably gonna even put, just put some black on his eyebrows. And I might even go over it again with brown. Just keep working it, working it, working it. I didn't make this eyebrow thick enough, that's okay. <laughs> he looks so funny now without any skin color. Definitely would want to go over it again with brown. Oh my goodness. How much brown could we put in his hair? Okay. That looks awesome. Okay, so now his whole face is going to be, he's tanner because he's, you know, from an, he's an island boy. But we're going to go over the whole thing first with peach and then we'll put tan on it and some reds and browns. But you can first color it all peachy peachy because life is peachy. I don't know about you, sometimes my hands get tired from coloring. They do and you gotta take a little break. That's when you go get a snack, walk around, go get some sunshine, some vitamin D. Today's a gorgeous day. Okay, so just going to go another direction just to fill in any of that white. I don't want to see any white. Don't forget it's hands. Okay, so now we're going to go in with a tan. And definitely it's going to be tanner right here. And as it comes in, just do lessen it. And a tan along the hairline. Uh, it's tan right up here. And it's going to go around the eyelid, make it tan, and around the eyebrow. Fantastic. And his ears, inside his ears, dark. And then we can go around and give it a little color here. It's looking good. Okay, we wanna go around this eye. So go around this eye. Hmm, definitely a shadow under here. Oh, let's go in with uh, some black here. I'll give it his little baby mustache. Oh man, you're so funny. You're so funny. Okay, so let's go in with uh, pink. Give it its pink cheeks. I'm gonna go one way, I'm gonna go another way, and then especially dark right in the middle. And we're gonna give a little color on his eyelids. And his nose looks like it's a little too much sun. So we're gonna emphasize that. And on his eyelid up here. And his cheek over here. It's coming along. We need to emphasize this nose more. And we're just gonna go over his whole lip and I'm probably gonna go over his whole lip peach too, give it more layers, and then I'm gonna give it a touch of red. I guess I, mm, if you do red, do it very, very lightly, just very light, going up on the top lip. You don't want him to have lipstick on, and then I'm gonna give him a touch of red, just on the tip of his nose, maybe just a little bit of red right here in his cheeks, okay looking good okay so I just used for the rest of him so this right here I just used magenta and purple this one is a dark blue like regular blue and light blue and then you're just gonna do that and you can do the background so we'll catch ya